Yours by popular demand, a judgment of three instant messaging applications for the iPhone. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Hi everyone, I'm Annie and welcome to another App Judgment. Now anyone with an iPhone and a Pulse is well aware by now that AT&T hasn't been winning any trophies for stellar service lately. In fact, a simple Twitter search for AT&T sucks will show you an ever-growing litany of grievances in minor horror stories of dropped calls, dead zones, and text message backlogs. So for those of us with iPhones, it feels like a good idea to have a variety of ways to get in touch with people instantly in the event that your telecom service is acting shady. And with the help of eagle-eyed viewers like Andre and Lucas, we were able to narrow it down to a few notables. There are tons of IM apps available with a wide range of prices and quality, but today we'll focus on three in particular, two paid apps and one free one. Beehive and IM Plus, which are 10 bucks each, and Palringo Lite, which is free. All three feature push notification, which lets you receive messages when your app is not open on your screen, and all three support a variety of accounts. So what's so great about the pricey ones, and can you get away with not paying for IM on the iPhone? Let's check it out. Beehive, which is pronounced Beehive and not Beejive as I originally thought, gives you a very pleasing user interface that kind of mimics the native SMS feature on your iPhone. So as you're chatting, it feels like you're texting. You can also change settings to list your contacts by groups if you have them. Beehive also gives you the option of changing your wallpaper, which is kind of fun and makes you feel at home. Chats also fully support hyperlinks and you can send videos, pics, and all kinds of media. It really is the champagne of IM apps, but how does it compare to its competitor, IM Plus? Well, IM Plus does pretty much everything that Beehive does, allowing you to change how you view your accounts, how long you stay logged in, up to three days. But the main advantage of IM Plus is that it also features a built-in browser, which greatly facilitates sending links or media if you're a heavy chat user. You can change your wallpaper in IM Plus as well. I'm not in love with the interface and prefer the more seamless aesthetics of Beehive, but honestly, they're both pretty damn good. Still not sure if you want to shell out 10 bucks for an IM application? We'll check out the free one when we come back, but first. Hello everyone, I'm Eileen, and welcome to the hot app of the day. Open Table for Android is finally available. If you haven't heard of it, it's a great service to reserve seating at restaurants. And best of all, the app is free. Now I've heard mixed reviews, so please let us know if you like it. Now for the iPhone, Navigon Mobile Navigator has announced a live traffic feature. The developers just added text-to-speech and now they've even upped the ante. Navigon will utilize real-time traffic information as well as historic data to calculate better routes that avoid congestion and get drivers to their destination faster. It will be rolled out in North America in October. And for the BlackBerry, location-based social network BrightKite just announced its first native BlackBerry application. It's called MyKite. You can download it in the BlackBerry App World Store. App Judgment is brought to you by GoDaddy. Get reliable, secure web hosting without the long-term contract. GoDaddy's hosting plans are bigger and better than ever, with 99% uptime, free 24-7 support, and no annual commitment. Want more app reviews? Well, you got to support our show. You can do that by using the code JUDGE5 at the checkout to get $10 off your order of $40 or more. And now back to Annie and I am apps for the iPhone. And we're back. So why would you pay 10 bucks for something you could potentially get for free? Well, let's take a look at Palringo and see how it stacks up. Like the other guys, Palringo Lite supports a variety of IM services and offers push notification. However, Palringo Lite lists your contacts alphabetically and not by account, which I personally found a little disorienting. The way the texts look also feel a little bit 90s, and I prefer the more integrated feel you get with the paid guys. I also noticed a weird little bug where one of my contacts showed up not by name but by a random number. So it's a little odd when you don't know who's talking to you. So before I give you guys my judgment, let's do a quick review of our options. Beehive gives you a practically flawless interface that looks exactly like your native Apple SMS. Allows you to stay logged in for up to seven days. Oh, and it also supports a whole bunch of languages, which is pretty awesome for all you multilinguals. It doesn't have a built-in browser though, and of course, it costs money. Also, it does not support Skype, so if you are a frequent Skype user, you may want to take that into consideration. IM Plus supports Skype and also has a built-in browser that makes it easy to have a dynamic chat experience. It also supports a variety of languages. However, the user interface, I think, is much less pretty than in Beehive. Palringo Lite may be free, but I found it annoying to use in Buggy. So if you do plan on using IM frequently and as a workable substitute for texting, I recommend don't download Palringo Lite. And do download either Beehive or IM Plus. Beehive is better suited to my needs personally, but if, for example, you're a Skype user, IM Plus is perfectly good too. Yes, they are 10 bucks each, but you might end up saving on your AT&T bill by IMing instead of texting next month, so I think it'll be worth it. 
Now, there's certainly some stuff we didn't cover here, so be sure to check out our show notes for more details on these apps. Or if there are other apps you'd like to see us review, be sure to let us know by email at appjudgment at revision3.com or on Twitter at twitter.com slash Annie Gauss. Thanks for watching App Judgment. So before I give you guys my judgment, let's do a quick review of our options. I'm going to let you finish, Annie, but first I got to tell you, Patrick Norton has the best reviews in the world. <laughs> <laughs>